Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Magician Russ Nowak, and I want to welcome you to my very own Hocus Pocus Magic Show, a virtual show performed just for you. I hope you're having a great summer. I want to thank all of my friends for asking me out today, all my friends at the Clarksville Parks and Recreation Summer Youth Program, and I hope you guys are enjoying all the things that they have in store for you. So I say let's get to the magic. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's get right to the show. I gotta tell you, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being such a great audience and being here with me today. And I also want to tell you, I'm really, really excited. You probably know why I'm excited. You know why? Yeah, because I've seen the show before. Yeah, as a matter of fact, a couple of thousand times. <laughs> and I got a very, very special guest with me today. He comes to almost all my magic shows and I know you guys want to see him. He lives inside of this box. Now, in order to get him to come out, most people like it when you give him a great big entrance when they come out on stage, but he likes it when you give him a little drum roll. You guys know how to do a drum roll? So what I want you to do is take your hands, put them together, give a little pat just like that, keep it going. Roll it really fast, keep it going. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the one, the only, the amazing Fred. There he is. Don't laugh at Fred. No, no, he's very sensitive. What? Fred, what? No, 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 no. Fred, you, you pro, well, oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a little problem. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> See, Fred, he's a little bit of a crazy guy. I don't know if you could tell just by looking at him, but he does these still silly things on the weekends. Sometimes he goes out to Fort Campbell, you know, where all those soldiers work, and he likes jumping out of helicopters, but it seems he forgot his parachute this time, so he uh, kind of twisted his ankle. He said he won't be able to do the magic for us. What's that, Fred? Your son was with you? <laughs> he's what? His son was with what? He, he didn't want to jump. What? He was a little chicken, that's why. Oh my God. Now Fred, what? All right, I'll ask him, I'll ask him. All right, now listen everybody, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, especially all my young friends out there, the boys and the girls, you guys, Fred needs some little help to do the magic. He's not gonna be able to perform with us today, so I'm gonna need your help. So in order to do this, you guys are gonna be, have to be my assistants right from your own homes, okay? So you guys wanna say goodbye to Fred? We're gonna let him take a little nap. He'll go right in over here. He'll be just fine, just like that. Perfect, here we go. Fred, <laughs> now cut it out. <laughs> now you lay down, take a little nap, don't bother anybody. We'll put you right over there. There we go, perfect. All right, uh, listen, um, just realized um, there's a couple things you're supposed to do. Fred usually brings the magic words with me. Um, he does, he brings, do you guys think you can help me out with a magic word? I need a magic word for the show. Wait a minute, my favorite magic word. It's abracadabra. Now, if you're going to be my assistant, you're going to have to help out. You're going to need to know that magic word. So say it with me. One, two, three. Abracadabra. Perfect. Now, the next thing we're going to do if you're going to be an assistant is, uh, oh, you're going to need to roll up your sleeves. So you guys roll up your sleeves. We'll roll them up just like this. Perfect. That's good. If you don't have any sleeves, that's even better. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right. Last thing we need is, need a handkerchief. That's right, a handkerchief. That's right. Um, um, let's see. Oh. Got a handkerchief. Now you know what Fred told me that if we're gonna start off the show, we gotta start off with something big, something everybody's gonna see. They're gonna go ooh and ah. So you guys try it with me, ooh and ah. So if you see anything you like, you clap your hands, you wiggle your feet, you stamp your feet. Let's get on with the magic. Are you ready? All right. Here's that handkerchief that I told you about. One, two, three. Say it. Abra cadabra. Oh, isn't he cute? Yeah. He's not real. I mean, <laughs> I know, I know. Come on. These are the best kind of birds to have. Those other birds, they always, you know what? The best thing about this guy, you never have to take him for a walk. And when you're done playing with him, all you got to do is just kind of roll him on up and put him in your pocket. Even better, he never does any poopies anywhere. It's great. Mm -hmm. Now, I was thinking, I'm going to need an assistant from the audience. I know all you guys at home want to help out, but I have my very own assistant right here in the audience. So. But I would like to introduce to you my very own assistant, Miss Lisa. Let's give her a big round of applause. Come right over here, Miss Lisa. Have a seat right there if you would, please. Oh, look who we have. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you my very own buddy, Mr. Milo. Milo is an incredible magician. He makes all his food disappear every day. He's going to be running around a little bit on the floor, but I'd like to introduce you to my lovely wife, Miss Lisa. She will be my assistant throughout the show. So. 
Let's get on with the magic. Alisa, let me ask you this. You ever been on stage with a real live magician before? No? Yeah, yeah me neither. Yeah. <laughs> you know what though? I remember the very first magician I ever saw. There was a magician on television. I was a little guy about so high, and the magician, he was doing incredible stuff. He had a big old suit on, a big bow tie, and a big hat. Took off his hat. He reached inside. He pulled out a rabbit. That's right. Yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> kind of mess up my hair. <laughs> but I do happen to have this handkerchief. Now, I've got it right over here. Let's bring it out just like this. Uh-huh. Look at that. Now, I got a question for you. I got a question for you. Miss Lisa, uh, do you know how magic works? How does magic work? Magic works because of wires, mirrors, and trap doors. Wires, mirrors, trap doors. Ask any grown-up, they'll tell you the same thing. Wires, mirrors, trap doors. Now, wires make things float. Mirrors make things disappear. And then trap doors make things appear. So I happen to have with me my very own trap door. Ladies and gentlemen, this trap door is kind of special. If you take your finger and you make a little hole like that, you can reach in the hole and pull stuff out. It's amazing. It's kind of like pulling a rattle from a hat. So you think you can help me do this? Sure. All right. So tell you what. I'm going to make a little hole. You put your finger right in there. Go ahead. Put your finger in there. Perfect. And we got a little hole. See? Now all we got to do is say the magic words and see what happens. Are you guys ready? All right. Let's do it. One. You know the magic words? Yeah. All right. One, two, three, abracadabra. Nothing's happening. I know what we need. We need a ta-da. We need a ta-da. Who can do a ta-da? I can do a ta-da. You can do a ta-da? I can do a ta-da. You, you do. I'm ready. Okay, she's I ready. All right, it. let's try it again. We'll start from the top. One, two, three, abracadabra. Ta-da. Perfect. Let's see if it worked. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a little, oh, there's something inside. <laughs> let's take a look. It's right about there. You look at that. Guys, that is incredible. How would we do that? Wait a minute. Can you hold that for me? Let me see if there's anything else in there. I don't see anything else in the hole. You guys see anything inside there? Oh, wait a minute. That, that's impossible. I got a great idea, though. Now, listen, ladies and gentlemen, you probably don't realize this, but um, we, if you make something appear, you go forwards, you go backwards, you can make it disappear. So that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to turn it around, make a little hole right about there and then we'll take this one thank you dear put it right back inside there now listen guys you got to keep your sleeves rolled up but you make sure you keep one eye on this hand keep one eye on this hand and keep the third eye on me don't let me out of my sight make sure my hands never leave my wrists i'm going to push this all the way down and we'll try it together you guys ready everybody at home you guys need to help out too one two three abracadabra ta-da let's see if it works let's see and it's 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 gone it's gone. Oh my gosh, it's gone. Wait a minute, it's gone. How'd you do that? I don't know. I need it back though. I got more shows. <laughs> I need, wait a minute. Magicians always keep things up their sleeves. Hey guys, check up your sleeves at home. You never know, you might have, you have anything. <gasps> wait a minute, I see some. So you gotta take this arm, put it up in the air just like that. There you go. You guys smell something? Oh, that's me. That's me. <laughs> yeah, it's a new fabric, so we're not. Funny. Good. I did see it up your sleeve, though. Can I pull it out? Yeah. Not ticklish. Well, it's yeah. It's right over here. I promise I won't tickle. It's right in there. Oh my gosh, it's tight. Look at that. Do you look at that? Where'd that come from? Guys, I got a great idea. You know what? We've got two of these. We got a big one. We got a little one. We got a little one. We got a big one. We got a little one. We got a big one. <laughs> Can you hold on to the big one? All right. Tell you what, Lisa. Open it up. Show everybody what's in there. Anything inside? Nothing? No. Show them the other side. There you go. Perfect. All right. Now, guys, we're going to make the little one disappear. He's going to fly through the air. You're going to catch him for me, okay? Okay. Don't worry. I do most of the magic. All right. Here we go. We'll push him in here. All right. Now, do me a favor. Take that one. Roll it up like a big ball. Roll it up. Perfect. Hold it with two hands like you're... Like, yeah, perfect. Hold it tight. Don't let anything in. Don't let anything out. All right. You guys ready? You see it? Let's give it a try. One... Two, three, abra, cadabra. I can feel it. It's starting to go. It's going, it's going, it's gone. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you feel it go in there? No. I bet you it's in there. Do you guys want to see it? Let's do it, let's do it. Open it up, open it up, slow, slow. There it is, there it is. I see it, I see it, ladies and gentlemen. The girl, what's the matter? You don't see it, guys? It's right there in the middle. Lisa, you see it, right? 
No. No. It's right there. No. Right there. No. Do you guys really want to see it? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to do this for you. All right. Put this right about here. You can let go. Thank you. You guys see my hand right there? All I got to do is reach in and pull it out. Are you ready? I'm ready. Just grab it and pull. And it comes right out of the middle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a great big round of applause Aww. for my wonderful assistant, Miss Lisa. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Lisa. You can have a seat over there. Thank you, dear. Put that back over there. Now listen, guys, every time I do that magic trick, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the very first time I ever did it. I remember it because uh, it was a long time ago. <laughs> and uh, it was not with that little big handkerchief. It was this little tiny purple one. You guys see that one? A little tiny purple handkerchief. Now every Saturday morning I used to get together with my daughter, her name is Sarah, and we would get together and do some magic. Whenever there was a commercial, we would take this little purple one, I'd push it all the way inside my hand, I'd make it disappear and then reappear and then disappear and then reappear. She said, hey dad, can we do something different? I said, what do you want to do? She said, don't push it all the way down inside. Leave it sticking out just that much. Then see what would happen. I said, all right, I will give it a try. I said, abracadabra. But nothing happened. She said, Dad, you know what happened, don't you? I said, no. She said, it didn't disappear. It actually changed colors. You push it in purple and it comes out yellow. Push it in purple and it comes out yellow. Push it all the way in purple and it comes out yellow. You know what she said after that? She said, can we do it again? And I said, sure, let's do it again. Now think about it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We push it in purple, and it comes out yellow, and you push it in yellow, abracadabra, and it comes out what color? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's pink. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that works either. It's just uh, you push it in, you pick it out, you push it in, you take it out, push it all the way in, and take it all the way out. You know what I think we should do? Do it one more time. That's what we're going to do. Because... See, I need the purple one to come back. The purple one's kind of special to me. Now, my daughter gave me that purple one. She said, Dad, you keep it right here in your pocket, inside on your shirt. It makes all your magic work. So this is what we're going to do together. We're going to make the purple one come right back. So push it all the way down inside. And then we say, Abra, Kadabra. And then there it is. Boy, oh boy. Give yourselves a big round of applause, everyone. Just like that. Some more magic. Let's do some more magic. Here we go. Now, oh, before we do, let me ask you guys a couple of questions. Just by raising your hand, I can see you out there. Just by raising your hand, you can tell me. How many people here like broccoli? Broccoli. Yeah, I didn't think so. Not so many. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's try it again. Try it again. All right. How many people here like SpaghettiOs? SpaghettiOs. No? No? Nobody. Okay. All right. Uh, I think I know this one. How many people like ice cream? You guys like ice cream? Yes. I know you have a favorite flavor. I know you have a favorite flavor. If you have a favorite flavor, I think I know this answer too. How many people here like the color? Do you guys like the color? Now listen guys, I know I got a lot of friends out there, a lot of fans. I got some little, little guys and some medium guys and some good grown-ups and adults that love to see all the magic that I do. So I got something special for my littlest guys in the audience. I brought with me a magic coloring book. You see what I was thinking? I've got this coloring book right here. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. This is a coloring book of magic. And all we have to do is take some color and put it inside. It's got all these pictures of a magic show in the circus. Now you said you have you like to color, so I, you probably have a favorite color. What I want you to do is I'm going to teach you how to do this. I'm going to teach you. I'll put this down for a second. I'm going to show you guys how to use your magic thoughts. Take your fingers, put them up. There you go, put them up. Put them on your forehead just like that. Concentrate. Think about your favorite color. You're thinking? Think, 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 think. All right, take one hand, reach up in the air. I want you to grab all that color you're thinking of and hold on to it tight. Now we're going to take all those colors and we're going to throw it into the book. you got to make sure you hit the book, though. Okay? Don't hit me. All right? You make sure you get them in the book. Try to get them in the lines, too. Okay? So let's give this a try. Here we go. One, two. Three days ago I was doing this. I was over at the mall. And I remember there was not a lot of people. But wait a minute. we got to throw the colors. Wait a minute. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Now make sure we get them in the book. Let's try to get them in all the pages. And let's try to get them uh, in the lines too. Are right, you guys ready? Here we go. One, two, three, throw! Oh. 
<laughs> Did you get them in the book? <laughs> Did you get them in all the pages? Did... Uh, 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 hey, hey guys, um, I got a great idea. <laughs> I got a great idea. Um, you know, sometimes when you're a magician, um, I'll tell you what, <laughs> we got all these pictures in the book, and uh, I was thinking, if we put all the pictures inside the book, all the colors would be colored. But you know what? They're not. I don't know what happened. So if you take a look, you see all the pictures. <gasps> we did it! You guys did it! You got them in the book! Oh my gosh! Give yourselves a big round of applause, guys! Oh my gosh, thank you so much. That was awesome. Now wait, wait a minute. Guys, I was just thinking, what are we gonna do now? All the colors are in the book, I can't use this book anymore. What do you guys do with your magic coloring books? Or your regular coloring books <laughs> when you're all done coloring all the pages? You, you throw them away? I don't want to throw it away. It's one of my favorites. So maybe we could use, really use some magic. We could use some magic and erase all the colors. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's give it a try. Okay, um, see what? I've got some magic erasers. Where did I put the? Oh, right over here. Hold on. Aha. Uh -huh. Perfect. Got some. All right. Now listen, guys. I'm going to toss them to you. You got to catch them. Get ready. They're coming to you. They're invisible. And it'll happen. One, two, three. Everybody got one? All right. Take your magic eraser. Put it up in the air. I want you to make a little circle. A little circle. You gotta go extra slow. The slower you go, the more colors you erase. So don't stop. Keep it going. Ladies and gentlemen, say the magic words with me. Abra Kadabra. Do you think it worked? You erased every color in the book? I know we did. Give yourselves a big round of applause. You erased every color in the book. Give yourself. Oh my gosh. Guys, we did a boo boo. We did a big boo-boo. We erased everything in the whole book. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I got an idea. Perfect idea. This is what we'll do. This... You guys, I have some magic markers. You know those things you draw with? And we can draw the pictures back in the book. Do you remember what some of the pictures look like? We can do it. We can do it. So, magic markers, right? Um, oh, back over here. Get ready. All right, get ready, guys. I'm going to toss them to you. Now, these are invisible, too. So, get ready. One, two, three. We got one? All right, take it, hold it up. There you go. Wanted to draw all the pictures you remember. Hey, everybody, everybody. Hey, boo, 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 boo. Hey, 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 stop, stop, stop. Guys, listen. I just realized you got to take the top off. <laughs> it's the only way that's going to work. <laughs> it's a magic marker, not a magic wand, okay? So hold it up. All right, take the top off. Draw all those pictures that you remember. You got them all? Everybody, stop. All right, put the top back on it. You guys get to keep those. Put them in your pocket. Souvenirs. Spare no expense. All right, so let's see if we did it right. Got to say the magic words. Now, last time I think we said it way too loud. Maybe we should try and say it real soft. You ready? One, two, three. Abracadabra. Let's see if it worked. I can't look. You guys have to tell me, did it work? 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 Yes, it did. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Thank you so much, guys. Awesome, awesome. Give yourselves a big round of applause. I'm going to put this back over here. Here we go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to take a little break. We're going to slow it down just a little bit. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about me and a little bit about magic. And you know what? Some of the, a lot of people ask me a lot of questions about being a magician. And you know, one of the greatest jobs that I've ever done in my life is being a magician, getting to do things. It's awesome because you get to go everywhere. But people have a lot of questions. They want to know some things like, you know, do you have to buy all your magic tricks? Do you ever go to Hogwarts? Is Harry Potter for real? Can you make my wife disappear? Stuff like that. You know how that works. Yeah. But you know, one of the things that I always like to do whenever I'm doing magic shows is I go to uh, the local places, you know, the stores and things. I buy newspapers. And do you guys know what's inside newspapers? You don't know? Newspapers. Oh, you see, grown-ups, they don't like to tell a lot of people. There's jokes inside the newspapers. That's why I buy the newspapers. So I find the jokes from the local places, and then I tear them out, and I bring them home. And that's what I've got right here, some jokes. Do you, do you guys want to hear some jokes? All right, I got a couple of jokes. All right, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I'll do. Okay, first joke right here is, um, okay, all right. Um, what do you get when you cross a cow and a duck? What do you get when you put a cow and a duck together? You get... Get milk and quackers, of course. Milk and quackers, yeah, absolutely. And, oh, wait, here's one, here's one. Uh, how do you make a handkerchief dance? How do you make a handkerchief dance? You know, you know. You put a little boogie in it. That's right, put a little boogie in it. Mm -hmm. Now, here's one, here's one. You guys have probably heard these before, but here's one you probably haven't. It goes like this. Knock, knock. Who 
who's there? Cows go, cows go who? Oh, no, no, cows go moo. <laughs> yeah, cows go moo. All right, here's one, here's one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mm-hmm. Uh, banana. Banana who? Uh, oh, knock, knock. Uh, who's there? <laughs> um, banana. Banana who? Um, knock, knock. Uh, who's there? Uh, banana. Banana who? Oh, gosh. Wait a minute. I should have put my glasses on. Knock, knock. Who's there? Uh, orange. Yeah. Orange, you glad I didn't say banana? Mm-hmm. And you know, guys, it seems a little silly to save all this paper. But if you don't save the little pieces, you know what you have to do? You have to save the whole thing. That's right. Mm-hmm. Just like that. What's that? There was a piece? It fell? <gasps> oh my gosh! Guys, there's a piece! It fell! Do you think this... Oh my gosh. Hold on a second. Let's take a look. The back looks pretty good. Nothing there. This one looks pretty good. That one looks better. This one looks... Uh-oh. <laughs> we got a little boo-boo. Oh my gosh, let's do this, let's do this. All right, it's right here on the front front page. It's got a little hole right there. Um, so this is probably the piece. It's the only piece, so maybe it does. Oh, it fits. It even matches up to the pictures. I'll slide that down right there. Does it look pretty good? Look pretty good? No? No. Does it look pretty good on the back? Mm -hmm. But you know, it's just a magic trick. We can fix that right up just like that. That's right. That's why we call it magic. Let's get on to the magic trick. Now, in order to do this trick, I'm going to need my lovely assistant one more time. Miss Lisa, would you come on up here and help me out? Have a seat right here next to me. Thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to picture this. We're in a big giant theater. We're in Las Vegas. There's like a thousand... There's a hunt. There's a couple dozen people and they came to our magic show. <laughs> and they're going to they're gonna learn how to do this incredible magic trick with a newspaper. We're up on the stage, you're on one side of this park bench, I'm on the other side. There's a big lamp post and a little bit of music. And it's kind of foggy. There's some newspaper. I'm going to pick up the pieces. You hold on to one of the pieces. I hold on to the other pieces. We open it all the way up. Look at all the pieces. Must be some bad news in that newspaper. You know what we're going to do? Tear it in half. And tear it again. And again. And again. And we take all the pieces and we fold them up into a little tiny ball. You hold it in front of you. And then you say the words. Abra. Kadabra, and then and all the pieces come back together again. That's what we're gonna learn how to do. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. You're really gonna do it, and I'm really gonna do it. So let's do it together. All right. So we're gonna need some uh, what they call those things? Oh, newspaper. We're gonna need some newspaper. And uh, you know what, guys? I was just thinking, not a lot of people have newspaper handy anymore. So I was thinking, if we could learn how to do this with a napkin, you guys can do it at home. All right, so watch this time. Don't get your napkin just yet. Hold on to that one. There's one for me, one for you. I want you to open it all the way up. I will do the same. Hold it just like me. There we go. Perfect. Hey, you've done this before? No. That's part of the trick. you got to give a little wiggle. Show everybody both sides. That's called giving it some flair. That's right. So what we do, we go to the middle at the top, and then you tear it just a little bit. Excuse you. <laughs> Oh, that was the paper. Okay, okay. Sorry. All right. So, all right. So you get a little tear. And you look them in. Excuse me. Oh, that was the paper. Okay. You look them in the eyes and then you give it to them. Perfect. All right. Take your pieces and you put them together again. And it doesn't matter where. You just tear them. Some more pieces. Some more pieces. Pieces, pieces. Oh, that's later. That's next. Okay. You got, uh, are you done showing off? I'm done showing up. All right. Roll it up like a big ball. Roll it up. Put it in your left hand. The left hand. The left hand. That oh. is my left hand. It's not my left. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh, that is the left hand. Okay, okay. Hold it up like this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you take your other hand. You rave it over the top as you say these words. Abra Abracadabra. Then you open it up. Show them. Take all the pieces and you open them. Don't show them. Don't show them. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on to those pieces. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a little technical difficulty with the... Uh, I have to have a little conference with my assistant. Excuse me one second, please. One more. Hey, Lisa. I kind of messed up, but I forgot the magic part, and I think they just heard me. Did you guys hear me? I think oh, they just no. heard you. Darn microphones. Listen, guys. I'm so embarrassed. I forgot the... Uh, I forgot the magic part, and this is what I was thinking. Now, listen. We can actually make all the pieces disappear. 
I don't know how to put them back together again, but you guys want to learn how to do that? It's real easy. You ready? Okay, you ready? Lisa, you follow my directions. You ready? Just kind of follow my lead. Here we go. Sure. You hold them up. Take the other hand. This time, you don't say abracadabra. Follow my lead. You say, hocus, pocus, alamog. Hey, guys, look at SpongeBob. Look. Did you see him? He's over there. Inside here, ladies and gentlemen, is this little box, and there's a feather inside this box. And this is what I was thinking. There is residual energy, magical energy, right here inside this table from the one and only Harry Houdini. I think we can harness that energy and make it make this feather float. It will float in mid-air. We will put it right, what's the matter? We're going to take the feather and make it float in mid-air. Why don't you just make the table float? We're going to make the feather float in mid-air. What's my... But why don't you just make the table float? People are watching. You if think... you really knew how to do magic, you could make the table float. Just saying. I can make the table float. I can make the table float. People want to see the table float. Are you going to help me make the table float? I'll, I'll help you make the table She's float. She's going to help me make the table float. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to make the table float because I'm the magician and I can do it. I need some help, okay? <laughs> You're okay. gonna help. All right. Okay. Tell you, what, you hold on to the tablecloth right here. This is how we're gonna harness the energy. All right. You hold on there. Hold on there. I'm gonna hold on here and hold on here. Okay. Now, concentrate on the feather, ladies and gentlemen at home. Concentrate on the feather. I'm not so sure you can see it right here. I'll bring it to the front a little bit. You see it right there. Perfect. We're gonna make that feather float. Wait a minute. We're gonna make the table float. The table's gonna float. Oh no, I mean, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we can do this. All right, are you ready? One, I'll say the magic words. I'll do it, we'll make the table float. I'm the magician, I can do it. Okay. One, two, three, abracadabra. Are you concentrating? I, I'm concentrating. I'm concentrating too, we'll try it again. Maybe I was too loud, maybe I was too loud, maybe we'll try it real soft, ready? One, two, three, abracadabra. I think you need a new magic word. There's nothing wrong with my magic word. I think you need a new magic word. What? What? Like, hocus pocus. Whoa! Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a great big round of applause for Miss Lisa. Oh my gosh. Oh my oh gosh. My. Ladies and gentlemen, that's incredible. Oh my. Whoa! Ah! Oh. Oh. Is there anything? Whoa. Oh. Uh, do you know how to make it go down? <laughs> no. <laughs> Try to say it again. Focus. Focus. Boys and girls, I hope you guys had a great time today. I want to thank you all for being my audience, and I hope you really, really enjoyed the magic. I want to thank all of my friends at the Clarksville Parks and Recreation Summer Youth Program for inviting us out today and be, being a part of your summer. So stay safe, and I hope to see you all again very, very soon. Take care. Bye. Now.